Bye bye glasses. Yeah. Real life. No, we have never. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. I don't. I have not Yeah, we did it. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 She has a yeah. 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 That's why you all beat them. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to be in the lab. <laughs> she got a notepad up. She's like, yeah. She got the notepad up. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Hey, take care, take care, take care, take care. Let everybody in the room first. Yep. Thumbs up if everything's coming in clear, y'all. Gotta put a thumbs up if, if you can hear us. Put a thumbs up. Thumbs up if we're not breaking up and it's coming in clear. Is it breaking up? Yeah, someone said it's breaking up. Yo, put a thumbs up in the room if we're good. Are we good? We good? Let me know. We get a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Is the ups? Is the thumbs? We got thumbs. We got thumbs. We got thumbs. All right. Y'all come on in. I'm gonna let a couple more people come in, and we're gonna get started. about the science behind Popeye's chicken, right? Y'all see the Popeye's chicken thing going on, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be letting you know the science behind it, mind control, this is what it's going to be called. You know what I'm saying? The science behind Popeye's chicken, mind control. That's that. So in this download, I'm going to be breaking down to you not only what your mind is, because a lot of people don't know what the mind is. We don't know what our mind is. And we don't know about really what mind control is. A lot of people say, yo, he's controlling people's mind, da 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 But truly, in this video, after I'm done this, you're gonna be able to know exactly and clearly, like it says, stated clearly, what the mind is and how the government is mind controlling you. Even though I've said this stuff before, I'm gonna break down the science so that you can't deny what I'm saying. Not, not. It's a perfect time to do it right now because of Popeye's Chicken in the black community. Popeye's Chicken has let EBT, that started accepting EBT, and we already know that black people are predominantly people that's on EBT. Well, they say that white people are, but really, we know the hood. You see what I'm saying? And where's Popeye's at? It's another so we know what's going on. So there's, there's something that's going on right now that y'all need to know about. Melanated people, we are under attack in this very moment because cosmic these people that run your life that own the system they they have astronomers astrologers and they know what's going on in the cosmos at this at this time and place so a lot of you are feeling like you want to commit suicide in this time and place right now somebody watching right now in this time and place you have had suicidal thoughts like five people already called me like yo i feel like dying and I'm going to explain to you, they know we're in the middle of a shift right now, cosmic. They know that. So now they're promoting this Popeye's chicken to black people. What's in the chicken? We're going to find out today. I'm going to show you why. So that they can get y'all back to sleep. Because y'all are starting to really feel depressed and wanting to do some changing. And they know how to get you back. And they're controlling your mind with what is called nanotechnology. Crazy word, right? Nanotechnology. You don't know what the hell that is. Niggas don't know what the hell nanotechnology is. But after this video, I'm going to put you on. I'm going to break it down so simple. 
and that y'all gonna know the top information of today. The top information. Because this is the stuff we're not talking about. Nanotechnology, CRISPR, gen genetically modifying, um, um, geoengineering, all this stuff. But this is very important that we grasp this. Now, a lot of my students already know this stuff, but we're gonna refresh it. There's nothing wrong with refreshing, right? Right. So to start off with understanding our minds, to start off with understanding nanotechnology, we have to study biology. So in this video, we're gonna simply break it down. First of all, most of y'all don't even know where your mind is located. You don't know that your soul is your mind. Most people don't know. I'm talking about my people. We don't talk about that kind of stuff. So when I say this, I say this, I say this. When I break it down in here, you're going to know something different today. You're going to learn something different today. It's going to be something new. I don't get live and I don't go live unless it's something important that you ain't heard before. That's why I'm about to put y'all on to this. Now, it's very important when we're going through this that you keep an open mind and stay focused and don't let nothing distract you from this video. I don't care if it's kids, stop right now. If you got children, if you got people around you, do not watch this video until you are by yourself, fully focused. This is very important information that I'm about to give you. So if you got anybody around you that's distracting you, get them away. Go listen to this completely. Don't be too head. I need your full undivided attention on this video. All right? Now, in order to understand anything that I'm about to teach you, I made basic videos on teaching you what DNA is. Right? I, I snatched these videos from Stating Clearly on YouTube. And so y'all can really understand what DNA is. So in our first video, like I told you, I'm about to show you how they're, they're really, what mind control really is, and how they're controlling your mind through this Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm about to show you. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm about to show you how. Roll and take. Speaker plugged up. So listen, listen up close, y'all. There you go, bro. Oh, you check right there at the top. First button. First button. So we gonna stay right there. Present y'all here. Listen. What is DNA and how does it work? DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule. It's a bunch of atoms. Can y'all hear this? Can y'all hear? Can y'all hear? Put thumbs up in the room if you can hear. Because we can switch the fan out with the speaker so it can be more hot. We can turn it up more over here. No, don't, don't unplug it. Like, switch the position. Exactly. Take the, take the rag. The room. All right, cool. So this way they can hear it better if it's more up here. It's more. Right. That's right. All right, now let's play real quick. It's stuck together. In the case of the United States app, Stating clearly presents what is DNA and how does it work? Okay. What is DNA and how it works? Pay attention for your life's sake. You need to understand what DNA is. All of y'all, pay attention. This is this is it right here. I broke it down dummy proof for you. You can't even not know it after this. Pay attention. What is DNA? Dummy proof. Simple as that. What? DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule. It's a bunch of atoms stuck together. In the case of DNA, these atoms combine to form the shape of a long, spiraling ladder, sort of like this one here. If you ever studied biology or saw the movie Jurassic Park, you probably heard that DNA acts as a blueprint or a recipe for a living thing. But how? How on earth can a mere molecule act as a blueprint for something as complex and wonderful as a tree, a dog, or a dinosaur? To help answer that question, let's first take a quick look at amino acids. Amino acids are tiny little chemicals inside our bodies that are so important. They're often referred to as the building blocks of life. There's about 20 different kinds, each with their own unique shape. 
The neat thing about them is they can be attached to each other, kind of like Legos, to produce an endless variety of larger particles known as proteins. So it's about amino acids. Okay, now that that put out. The proteins. Proteins, along with other chemicals, combine to form living cells. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs. And organs, when they're all put together and functioning, of course, combine to form living creatures like you and me. Stop. This is very important. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Okay? So, these are the building blocks of DNA, amino acids, proteins, make living cells, they make, the cells come together to make tissues, and the tissues come together to make organs, and organs come together to make an organism. This is very important to understand, basic stuff, take a screenshot, I want y'all to take notes. Y'all out there, I want y'all to take notes, I want no one to be able to fool you. And I want you to be able to explain it as simply as I can explain it. So I'm going to teach you very simply so that when someone tries you on the street, you're going to be like, oh, you a GMO. And then be able to break that all the way down to them, dummy proof, so that they can understand. I am not a good teacher if I can't teach you how to break it down just as good as I can break it down. What I need you to do is be able to tell your family members how to fuck their GMOs. And when you tell them, like, look, the government is doing mind control over you. So that somebody say mind control, after this video, I guarantee you're going to be like, nigga, you don't know what mind control is because I'm about to break it down to you like you never heard before. So I want you to understand it clear. Amino acids are the building blocks of DNA. Then you have proteins. That, then you have living cells. The cells together make tissue, and the tissues together make organs, and the organs together make what? Or organisms. Great. Move forward. These proteins that make up our bodies, and keep in mind, there's millions of different kinds of proteins. They each have to be formed in the perfect shape in order to function. If they're in the wrong shape, they usually won't work. That's where DNA comes in. DNA does a lot of interesting things. Some of which you don't fully understand, but one of its main and most well understood functions is to tell amino acids how to line up and form themselves into the perfect protein shapes. In theory, if the right proteins are built at the right time and in the right place, everything else from cells to organs to entire creatures will come out just fine. This here is a simplified model of DNA. It shows us that the steps of the ladder are made up of four different kinds of chemicals shown here by different colors and letters. Now who could tell me what if you look at just one half, who could tell me what these chemicals are called? I, still, I know y'all know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What are they called? Nucleotides. Nucleotides, right. For those that don't know, they're called nucleotides. Nucleotides, what they call them, right? Right. Y'all gonna learn again today if you've never seen it before. Go ahead. To the molecule, you can read this chemical sequence or genetic code from top to bottom, sort of like a book. A single strand of DNA is extremely long, millions of letters long. It spends most of its life coiled up like a noodle, living inside the nucleus or the cells of a cell. Stop. You are made up of trillions of cells. And inside of each cell is your DNA. So you're not just this one person walking around. You're trillions of cells. Remember, mm -hmm. cells make up tissues, and tissues make up organs, and organs make up or organisms. organisms. Yep. So you are trillions of cells moving as a unit. That's why you're a cell. Now, in the earth, in all of its stuff is cells moving as a unit. But we'll go to that later. So in the nucleus of every cell, there's DNA. So if I asked you where DNA is at, what would you say? In the nucleus. And every cell, and every cell in your body holds inside of it a nucleus. Out of the trillions of cells, each cell holds a nucleus. Inside that nucleus is what? DNA. What? DNA. DNA. Right, that's where the DNA is at. The DNA is the blueprint. That's what tells the organism or the cells what they're going to be. Information, right? right. Okay. We're going to go into that deeper in a minute. All right. Move forward. Amino acids, however, 
bro, you just, you just take one bro. Now we gotta wait. Pause this video. No, you good on that. Take it, take it. You're right. Now we gotta wait till that comes back up. Technical difficulties, uh, it is what it is. There we go. How the room looking? That time they're good. Shout out there. Shout out to Peace of the Gods. Yeah, we're about 90. 90. Nah, I don't care about that. I'm just saying how they look. Anyway, positive. Yeah, I turned the comments off because they were like getting all, you know what I'm saying? So they shut the comments off. Turn it back on every once in a while. See what they're up to. They can comment. Make sure nobody is saying anything disrespectful. They can comment. Okay. But I really don't even want them to comment. Y'all right. That's what I'm saying. Right. So what's going on with this? There you go. Okay, yeah. cool. So back up. Uh, yeah. You're back up in front of y'all. Yeah. Color like regulate on the phone. Yeah, it's gonna regulate now. Hey, alright, ready? Okay. However, when the outside of the nucleus and what's called the cytoplasm, to help DNA interact with take the cytoplasm. Picture, Scott. Take a picture, because the outside of the, the, uh, the nucleus is called the cytoplasm. So here's the cell, right? What each cell in your body looks like. There's a nucleus where the DNA lives, and there's the cytoplasm. Right? Remember that the outside is the nucleus is called the what? Cytoplasm. cytoplasm. Right, and what is what, what lives in the cytoplasm? Amino acids. Amino acids. Amino acids. Dig? Which you which DNA uses to build proteins and tell information to your cells and stuff. But we'll get into that later. Right now, just making it very simple. You have DNA inside of the nucleus, and you have right outside the nucleus, you have the cytoplasm. Where what lives? Amino, Amino acids. acids. Great. Moving forward. Convert those amino acids into proteins. Special chemicals inside the nucleus make partial copies of the DNA code. These partial copies, called RNA, look a lot like DNA, but they're shorter, of course, and they're missing one of their sides. Their small shape and size allows them to fit through tiny pores in the nucleus, out to the cytoplasm, and into the mouth of another particle called a ribosome. Stop. Ribosome. So these copies. These copies of the DNA strand are called what? RNA. Or not DNA, they're called RNA. They're semi-copies of the DNA, like genes. Right? Okay. We'll get into this in a minute. So I keep moving forward right now. We're going to talk about genes in a minute. Go ahead. Those are protein building machines. So right outside the RNA code, three letters. So right outside the cell is something called the ribosome. The ribosome is a lot like the womb of a woman. Always think about the ribosome like the rib of a woman. And this is the womb where everything is made from. From the codes. The codes go through there. They read the code the tabs of the ATCs and Gs. Right, Gs. And they, from the amino acids in the cytoplasm, now they are read the RNA here and they start making. They put the amino acids to make what? Proteins. Protein. Protein. Good. And proteins become what? Cells. Cells. Cells, cells become what? Tissue. Tissue become what? Organs. Organs become what? Organisms. You guys are smart. You guys are really smart. Let's move forward. Time. Suck amino acids out of their surroundings and stick them together in a chain according to the RNA code. As the chain grows, it bends, it folds, and it sticks to itself to form a perfectly shaped protein. Every three letters of the RNA code tell the ribosome which of the 20 different kinds of amino acids should be added next. For example, CAA tells the ribosome to grab a glutamine. AGU tells it to grab a serine, and so on. Once a protein is built, it can then go on to do a number of different things, one of which could be to help form a brand new cell. So to answer the original question, what is DNA? DNA is a molecular blueprint for a living thing. How does it work? A molecular DNA, if anybody asks you, say DNA is a molecular blueprint from a living thing. It's the molecular blueprint, right? Who you are right now, what you look like, your mind, and everything that you're walking around is the blueprint. DNA is the blueprint of that. Everything that you think you are, 
It comes from where? The DNA. So every cell in your body has a code that is you. It's your molecular blueprint. So DNA is like the mind. You understand what I'm saying? It is the mind. It's your mind. It's your program. It's your blueprint. Can you grasp that? We'll go into more of that later. Moving forward. DNA creates RNA. RNA creates protein. Proteins go on to form life. This entire process, as complicated, as sophisticated, as magical as it might seem, is entirely based in chemistry. It can be studied. It can be understood. But stated clearly presents... What exactly? What exactly is a gene? Now that we know what DNA, everybody know what DNA is, right? Yeah. yeah. What is DNA? A molecular blueprint of a living thing. A molecular blueprint for a living thing. Are y'all taking notes? Yeah. No one can trick you. No one can trick you if you educate yourself. Knowledge is what? Power. Power. If you what? Use, Use it. Use Knowledge is what? Power. Power. If you what? Use it. Knowledge is what? Power. Power. If you Use it good, the right way. And you gotta learn how to use it. Right. You got the knowledge and you don't know how to use it. Now, moving forward, we're gonna be talking about what exactly is a gene, because we already know what DNA is, right? Now we need to know the gene is, and we're gonna be talking about genetic modifications, right? We're gonna be talking about GMO and all this stuff. We need to know what a gene is. We know a gene is synopsis is, uh, synopsis to uh, DNA. We know what it's related to the DNA, right? Right. You know how. We're gonna find out what exactly is gene. We talk about DNA. This is biology. We talk about DNA. Now we talk about genes. And in this video, we're gonna take notes. I wanna make sure you're learning. Take notes. Moving forward. The gene. Each one of our cells contains 46 strands of DNA. A single strand is made of millions of particles called nucleotides. And these nucleotides come with four different types. One of the four different types of nucleotides. Who can tell me? Huh? DNA is made of these nucleotides. On the chain of the DNA, they're made from four types of nucleotides. Who can tell me what those four nucleotides are? A, C, T, and G. A, C, T, and G. That's right. A, C, T, and G. Let me hear you say it. A, C, T, and G. Right. Moving forward. Which scientists have labeled A, C, T, and G. Good job. A gene is a special stretch of DNA, a sequence of A's, C's, T's, and G's that code for something. Okay. Do you see what that is? Write that down. A gene is a piece of DNA. It's a code for something. You see? Remember like RNA? RNA is like a half of a gene. Right? And we know that a gene is a piece of DNA. Not the whole DNA. So this has a certain purpose. So if you have a gene, blue eye gene, that would mean you have this segment of genes and this code right here would give you blue eyes. You understand what I'm saying? So a gene is a piece of what? DNA. For what? A code, 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 code for something. A code for something. It is coded for something. It's what gives you your ear. It will give you your nose. You have a gene that gives you a big nose. You got a gene that gives you your ear shape. You got a gene that gives you your hair texture. You have a gene that gives you your skin color. Okay? And this is what a gene is. It's very important to understand. Very important to understand. So what is a gene? Piece of DNA. Piece of DNA. Piece of DNA. Piece of DNA. Right? Yeah. For what? A code a code for something. A code for some purpose in the body. Everybody got that? Yeah. Yep. Moving forward. A gene contains information for a cell to read and use. But what exactly does that information do? You might have heard that there's a blue-eyed gene, a freckle gene, possibly even an anger gene. But single genes don't literally make things like eyeballs or freckles or temper tantrums. Genes make proteins. Those proteins that interact with each other and all sorts of chemicals inside the body to build things like eye pigments, freckles, 
and not all the right hormones. A single strand of DNA contains thousands of genes or unique protein recipes. Humans have roughly 20,000 altogether. Some genes are small, only about 300 letters long. Others are well over a million. Stop. See, this is the DNA swiggled up, and genes are what? He's a piece of DNA. He's in the DNA for what? Call for something. for something. Call for something, right. They tell cells what to do. The active genes in your D on your DNA is called what? Who knows what that's called? Gino. 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 Yep, Gino. That's what makes you you. It's your blueprint. It's who you are. So you have a whole bunch of genes that are active on yours that might be different than mine. Slightly different. Gino. That's what makes you appear to look different than me. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Moving forward. The length and sequence of a gene determine the size and shape of the protein it builds. The size and shape of the protein determine the function that protein will have inside the body. Hemoglobin, for example, is a protein structure found in red blood cells. Its unique shape and size allow it to capture oxygen molecules when blood flows near the lungs and then release them later when blood flows near oxygen-starved tissues. Pepsin is a digestive protein. Its unique shape allows it to break down food inside your stomach so it can be absorbed by the body. Keratin is a structural protein. Its unique shape and size allow it to link together with other keratin proteins to form hard structures like fingernails, claws, and beaks. Different creatures have different genes, which is ultimately why their bodies look and function differently. But one of the many reasons scientists believe all life on Earth is related is that the basic DNA code, the language of A's, C's, T's, and G's, is pretty much the same for all living things. Many creatures even share some of the same genes. You might not be too surprised to learn that humans and chimps, which are closely related, share 96% of their genetic code. Stop. Okay, so what this is saying is basically like everything in nature shares the same DNA. Mm -hmm. But what makes me different from a monkey? Genes. Mm -hmm. There's certain genes I have that the monkey don't have that's activated on that DNA strand. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why the monkey looks different than me. That's why the tree looks different than me. That's why the plant looks different than me. But it's all the same thing. We said DNA was what? The mind. Right. right? Or DNA could be God. And then we're different expressions of God. Through our genome or our selective genes on our DNA strand. Right? So life is playing out of code. This is why it's called the matrix. Because life is all coded from DNA. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. Yeah. But what would you think a lowly fruit fly has in common with a beautiful swimsuit model? Surprisingly, about half of its genes. Stop. So basically, half the genes that are activated in a human being is the half the genes that is shared half genes. So, of course, the other half is what makes us look human. But mm -hmm. if we to take them away, we have a flop. Right. So these are the genes that are active on the DNA strand to make us look different from the flop. You get it? Everybody gets it? Yeah, that's a thing. Good. I want you to grasp this. This is the basic information to understanding biology truly and understanding what the fucking government is doing to you. Moving forward. Because all creatures use DNA in pretty much the same way, genetic engineers have found that if they take a gene from, say, a bacteria cell, and insert it into the DNA of an animal or a plant cell. Stop. This is called genetically modified. Mm -hmm. You take you take DNA or RNA or a gene, right? Uh, or RNA or a gene out of a out of a bacteria and put it into a plant. The ribosome, remember the ribosome? Yep. Where's the ribosome located? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, right outside the what? The nucleus. nucleus where, where what lives? The DNA. DNA. Good. So in the cytoplasm, the ribosome will read this uh, DNA strand and start reproducing proteins that have nothing to do with your body, but has something has now been introduced to your body 
that your it will start making proteins that when what proteins do they make function in the body and they can modify things in your mind in your body make you have certain behaviors make you look a different way you see what i'm saying makes you think about what's in your vaccination what's in your food well we're going to get into that later because you could genetically modify something just by doing what you just seen every one of them right there here we have a bacteria what they did here is to extracted a gene out of this bacteria and put it into a human this is what they do with diabetes this is what insulin is right this is what it is it's genetic modification watch let me show you genetic engineers have found that they genetic take engineering from say a bacteria cell and insert it into the dna of an animal or a plant cell that animal or plant cell will then read the new gene and produce the bacterial protein. Engineers now, been, now, now, once they understand what each um, code does and what kind of protein it makes and what kind of behavior, it can start. You can start controlling reality. This is real mind control because the mind is what? DNA. Yeah, I don't believe it. The mind is what? DNA. If I want to mind control you, I have to control your what? DNA. Genes. If I control your genes, then I control your what? Mind. Moving forward. And match the genes of different organisms to produce many new creatures, including corn that is toxic to insects but supposedly safe for human consumption. Tomatoes that last up to twice as long in the grocery store before going bad, and a new form of bacteria that produce the human protein insulin, which we then collect from these bacteria and give to people with diabetes who need extra insulin to survive. You see that? So just to sum things up a bit, what exactly is a gene? A gene is a special stretch of DNA, not the entire strand of DNA, just a segment. Stop. What is a gene? A piece, of DNA. DNA. a piece of DNA. For what purpose? It's a code for something. It's a code for something, something right? right? To give information to what? Proteins. To tell the protein what to do in the body. Right? right. The proteins are for functions in the body. So the genes give this knowledge and this code and information to the protein. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Codes for something. Each gene is like a unique recipe, which usually tells a cell how to make a protein or a group of proteins. Different creatures have different genes, but all genes are written in the same basic DNA language. What? What is the DNA language? A, C, T's, and G's. Absolutely. And what are these A, C, T's, C, and G's called? Nucleotides. 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 Exactly. You guys are doing really good. Moving forward. A's, C's, T's, and G's. I'm John Perry, and that was Jeans. Stated on it. Happy Halloween, Santa. Now you know what DNA and genes are. Very simple. Very, very, very simple, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff they don't teach us in school like that. We knew it, but you just don't know it to, to the basic understanding to get it to relate to your reality. All right. Right? So in this next video clip, I clip Dr. Bruce Lippin, who's a biologist. And what you have to do with this knowledge out here, you gotta piece it together because it's just all over the place. And we have to focus in on what really matters and see what's really going on to overcome and um outsmart our enemy and, and go around. Right. Yo. So in this video, I clipped, I, I clipped it and edited it just for you so that you can learn about how your food and what you eat affects your DNA and your behavior. Right? And while we're at it, I wanted to pull up uh, the video I put on my page. I don't know if you still got it, Tron. Mm -hmm. uh, the video we put on the page, we got to break it up about uh, DNA being a new storage. New storage. It's on, it's on my IG page. Okay. Um, does anyone have a phone? I got it, I got it right here. I want to pull this video up. While, 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 I'm, while I'm doing this segment right here, I want you to pull the video up. Of, uh, yes. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Can, can, somebody, can, can somebody grab the phone and then... Air drop into the computer. Huh? 
Uh, he's got it. He knows where it's at. He's got it. He's, he's got it on the computer, right? Yeah, I think I might have it on the phone here. Wait. Oh, yeah, on the computer. Yeah. I'm Bob, sorry. Bro. Yeah. Nah, and, um, I got it on the phone. It's in Bob Parks. Okay. And I could just air drop it over real quick, bro. Yeah. I might even be on the computer. Huh? Yeah, it might be on a computer, but air, air dropping it would be better because I think yeah, it's on the computer. Remember, you put it on the computer. I put, I put it on the hard drive, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna send it to you real quick. Hold on. See if I still got it in my phone. Okay, but anyway, here it goes. I'm, I'm sending it over to you. Where should I send it to the computer? Computer? Yep, duh. I'm looking for that one. I'm looking for that one. I hear you. Oh. Get it on there, Joe. Alright, okay, I got you. I'll send it on. All right, so you got it. It's saving right now. Save. Yeah. Okay, All right, now listen up. In this next video, I'm going to be showing you how your food controls your DNA and your and your DNA is your what? Mind. mind. Okay. So now we're talking about mind control. Now we know that DNA is the code that gives you your thoughts, actions, and reality, your appearance, your phenotype, how you look, how you act, how you think comes from this code called DNA. Right? As above, so below. So if I can control your genetic, your genes, if I can learn how to put thoughts in you, I can control your behavior. So all I gotta do is put thoughts in your mind. Now, how do they transfer what they want you to think like, act like, and be like? Genetically modified. This is why genes are information that if you eat the wrong food, I can make you have certain behaviors. I can make mess with your chemistry now. Now, I can, you be thinking that you're making up your own mind, but you're not. You're a genetically modified organism. Because now I have put in you RNAs, genes, that go into your cytoplasm of your cells and start reproducing the proteins that I want you to produce so that I can now control your behavior through the proteins. It's called DNA programming. I'm going to show you the evidence of all this. I know I sound crazy right now. But what you eat is literally controlling you. Facts. There's information. You got it? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, we'll, talk, we'll come back to that. Uh, there's information. There's information inside your food right and that that information in your food the rna in your food actually interacts with your own dna and i'm about to show you in the video for my scientists that have been doing this for four years shouts out to dr bruce lipton this guy you need to research dr bruce lipton putting y'all on this this is what you need to be focusing your mind on and then i'm going to relate it to popeye's chicken watch this let's go Actually alters the rate out of the genes. Well, that's where the micro. Oh, get off bed. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Right there. Okay. What is it that actually alters the rate out of the genes? Well, that's where the micro is. Because that was the. Uh, that was the. Uh, that was the. Because that was the bit that we're talking about. He was talking about the RNA. Yeah, man. Okay. It was in the whole thing. Yeah, well, this is the RA part. He was talking about here. Go to my. No, no, no. I'm talking about the whole video. I got right. the whole video and I had clipped it the way I wanted it. Okay, okay. Okay. Then the clip right now here. Now we have to go to the external joint to actually. No, it's right here. I can go on. That's, no, it's right here. I have it right on. Oh, you gotta go to the full one. Which one? Go to this. And then just click it. Come on, man. I want them to see the whole thing when he explained it. Okay. Put the, put the screen up. Okay, let's get it. Uh, welcome to the Bell Sunrise Laboratory. Today, I got a great story for you. Many times, science is just about minutia details that are totally uninteresting to the general public. But I have an article today that is going to change the world. And it's about a new understanding of what is called microRNAs. Oh, wait, yeah, that's not that serious. 
What is the RNA? Uh, it's a piece of the gene. Right, it's a half of a gene. It's a copy of a half of a gene. So the gene doesn't go anywhere, right? The gene doesn't go, let me, let me explain to you what gene, a gene is just a piece of DNA, right? There's something that comes and makes a copy of that gene. That copy of that gene is now called the what? RNA. 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 It doesn't take it off the DNA. It makes a copy of that gene. Something comes and scans it and makes a copy of that gene. It's not going to tear the gene off your damn Because we need a copy to make the protein. It has to come out into the cytoplasm and go into the river zone to make the protein. So now, we need a copy of it. So some site comes and make a Xerox copy of it, right? And then when it makes that Xerox copy, that copy is called what? RNA. RNA. And it only needs half that gene. That's all. So this is a this is called micro RNA. That goes out into the cytoplasm, right? And what does it do? It gives instructions to the cytoplasm on what code and what protein to build. Mm -hmm. And we know protein controls behavior, our, our mind, basically. We, and I'm gonna show you how you can. They, they're, they're literally doing this right now. It's called DNA program. It's called CRISPR. I'm going to show you. You don't have to believe me. I'm gonna show you. This is all facts. It's not. It's not like theory. This is all facts. Moving forward. Let me just tell you about it. Here's what it's all about. Once in a long time ago, we thought that genes control life, and then there are new research that uh, information that I was pioneering over 45 years ago by stem cell cultures have now revealed a new science of genetics called epigenetics, which simply means epi above genetics, above genetics, information control above genetics. We find that the environment is translated by the cell, and that environmental information is then used to select and activate the genes. So this is really cool, and this is epigenetics, and yet we find out what is it that actually alters the readout of the genes? Well, that's where the microRNAs come in. Now we find that the micro... What is altering, what do you say? The readout of the genes. Gotta listen to me. What is altering the read of the gene? Now, who, what's reading the gene? Ribosome. Ribosome. The womb. The woman, she's producing, she's nurturing, she's making it, she's the womb. That's the rib. This is the ribosome right here. What alters the readout of the gene? So you're, here's your gene, mind this business. Ooh. Right? Here's your ribosome, mind this business, right? And the food you eat come along with its own what? Right. 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 The food you eat has its own information. We're eating for information. So the food you eat, if they put nanotechnology in your food, they can alter the readout of the regular readout of your gene and, and then take it and make it do whatever it wants it to do and produce whatever protein it wants to do in your body. It's called DNA program. CRISPR, baby. This is real mind control. But I want to control your mind. I got to control what you eat. I got to control what you, your water. Because water is very good for you. Water is what determines your vibration. Study water. It's very important because water carries minerals. It helps you carry all kind of metals to make you conducive to even, to even understand your mind at a certain level. So if I want to lower your frequency, I can fuck with your water. Fuck with your water, I can put you on a low vibration. You understand what I'm saying to you? So... And then that's the whole other download. Right now, we're talking about mind control. How your food is controlling your mind. Genetically, this is biological. This is why this is one of the five sciences. We have to study this shit. We're talking about dumb shit that don't make no sense. This is the stuff. This is war. It's a genetic warfare. It's something subtle that's right in front of me talking about stupid shit that don't matter about nothing. Now, you see this Popeye epidemic happening right now, right? It's a slick scary. It's slick scary because it's out of nowhere. When you see stuff like this, I'm, gonna t I'm showing you why. Because right now, it's another awakening happening, cosmically, right? It's, it's, it's stuff that's being sent by the sun. You know it's summertime, right? Right now, it's summer. There's codes being sent by the sun that's giving you information, right? Through your food. They know that in the middle of the summer in the United States, there's black people that can absorb the sunlight and they're going to get the cold, but now they have to alter the fucking message that you're getting from the sun. They have to distract and disturb that message to keep you where they need you to be. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
It's summertime and you're waking up. How many people keep calling me talking about having suicidal thoughts? You have the suicidal thoughts because you can't do it no more. You, your mind is waking up. Your DNA is waking up. And you don't know. It's half woken up. It's half woken up. You know what I'm saying? So half of you is like in, it, in this Babylon shit. And the other half is like, man, I don't, man, I don't know what to do. Right? You got attachments, all common kind of shit, right? And you feel like dying. You know why you feel like dying? Because you have to die. Your ego, or your sense of self, has to die for you to enter the kingdom. You're being told information from the sun right now. You're not getting. You're not even allowed to receive the knowledge, let alone download it through the moon. The moon downloads the software. That's why when you sleep, you're supposed to sleep with the cycle of the moon. You're supposed to be connected to the earth when you sleep. Think about this. Were we ever supposed to be off the ground? No, we're supposed to be connected to Earth. When you, when you, when you have an app on your phone and your application has to, or any kind of computer, any, even your cell phone, when your cell phone is updating, it's information, right? What does it do? It goes into sleep. You cannot upload anything without sleep. This is why the moon is important. The moon actually uploads everything that the sun has downloaded during the daytime. You understand what I'm saying? They are fucking with the download process. You're not getting enough sleep. You can't even download it if you don't have enough energy. Because if you're, look, when you're about to upgrade your, your iPhone or your computer, what does it say? Plug your device up to a power source. If you don't have enough energy, because I got you working a, a, a nine-hour shift, 12-hour shift, then when you go to sleep, you're not going to be able to have enough energy to download the goddamn shit that you got from the sun. You understand what I'm saying to you? So they got us. You're not getting proper sleep. You stress the fuck out. And on top of that, <laughs> Popeye's taking EBT, baby. Pop, we don't need y'all waking up. Not y'all motherfuckers. Hell no, because... That's gonna cause a lot of friction. We can't control our environment if y'all wake up. And the sun, we know the sun is getting hotter. It's telling y'all codes, it's, it's sending your codes. And now, in the middle of the summer, there's codes being sent out in 2019. Information from what you think is Nibiru. It's information that's being sent to, to activate the ancient genes in you so that they can come through you and wake up within you and you're not even allowed to get it. They know these things already. EBT. Popeyes is weird. Popeyes sent me EBT. The line is off, off the rack. And they got a new sandwich. What's in that sandwich? Let's check it out. RNAs are actually epigenetic mechanisms. The microRNAs bind to the chromosomes and alter the readout of the genes. So that a single gene program can be modified to create thousands of different kinds of proteins from the same blueprint based on this epigenetic modification. For the longest time, we thought if we just eat food, our digestive system breaks down that food and the cooking will break down living things or freezing and all that will neutralize all the aspects of the food so that we can use just food as building blocks. However, something new is found, and this is about the microRNA. It turns out that the microRNA molecules in the food we eat is picked up by our digestive system and transferred to our own cells and regulates our own genetics. Wait, wait a minute. First of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Stop. What did he say? Go ahead. The heat is picked up by our digestive system and transferred to our own cells and regulates our own genetics. Stop. So, did you hear that? Popeye's chicken. Did you hear that? The food you eat has microRNA in it. They can put nanotechnology in the food. If you don't believe me, I'm about to show you some clips of nanotechnology of how they can put information in your food. Shit, this shit ain't real chicken anyway. Nanotechnology, bro. And now they're testing it out on who? The black community. That's what you're there for. You test dummies. That's what black people are in America. We're 
test dummy. Anytime you want to test some shit, test it on the black community. You see how supermarkets test it on the black community. All the fast food restaurants test it on the black community. Let's watch. Human experiments, that's what black people are for in the United States of America. Human experience, you're exposed and you're so sleep. And you want to stay up on the mass that mass is just using you for a project. CIA is just using you to see how this responds to human beings. This is why you got area codes. I'm just telling you the truth. I want you to wake up and see what's going on right now. Right? This sandwich is good, man. It's good. But it says right here, and this is the biologist right here. He's the dude that's been doing this forever. What you eat, the RNA and the food you eat, the information in the food you eat is transferred by your own digestive system and regulates what? Your genetics. Your genetics. And we know that the genetics is what? As soon as the RNA come in, it's going to interrupt your, your natural um, protein um, being produced. It's going to produce what? It's going to replicate and produce what they want in your mind and your behavior. It's called DNA programming. I'm going to show you. Keep watching. That becomes what you aim to become. Actually, has a scientific foundation to it. It says that we alter our own genetic readout by the food we eat. This study by Balshiro and Chapeau, we're studying the uptake of microRNAs from rice in diets of an Asian diet. And what they found was that the microRNAs were not broken down in the digestive system. They were picked up intact from the food, transported across the wall of the gut, and then they entered the blood of our biology, our body. Well, this becomes really, really relevant in a world where we are now playing with genetically modified foods because we're going to be picking up epigenetic microRNAs that we have no knowledge about that have never really been in our diet or on our planet before. What is the consequence of altering our genetics with unknown microRNAs? Well, we're soon going to find out about that. And here's a very important point about the microRNAs. No matter if you cook the food, you freeze the food, the microRNAs are very small molecules, very stable. And these molecules don't break down. So that you always are getting active genetic regulating molecules from the food you eat. Good idea now to think about what are you eating. Stop. And the whole Popeyes chicken sandwich is what we eat in this summer. That's what's going to decode the codes that we are receiving through our melanin. You got shades on. You at the beach with shades on. Not receiving the colds through the melanin in your eyes. You done dyed your ear. Of course you gotta communicate with the universe because melanin is what allows you to communicate with the universe. You at the beach with a dyed hair with perm and, 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 and you done fries your shit. You got a wig on. You ain't even communicating with the universe in the most important time of the year when everything is waking up to its purpose and understanding the communication between it and its higher self. Which is that sun and that moon and all the stars in the cosmos. As above, so below. So there is an interruption to the communication between us and what we truly are. And that's what our environment does. It interrupts our communication with what we truly are, which is nature. Moving forward. What's up, Can you stop the video? Stop the video. And go back to the Go back to that Okay, now forward, move forward a little bit. Go past the video. Stop, press break. Very stable. And these molecules don't break down. So. Hey, stop, boss. Here it is. There she go. The face of it all. For who? For black people. There go your mama. There you go. They know what they marketing. They market your mama to you. It's your mama. It's this mama. It's big mama. You know. And guess what? EBT, baby. We'll pay for it. We'll pay for you to eat this. Yes, we will. Come on in. It's Annie from Louisiana. Popeyes, baby. 
Come on in with your EBT. We'll pay for you to eat this food. And what we do, we in a line to go keep. We, this is 2019, people. This ain't, we got the internet now. We are small, we're sharing information at an all time high. What the hell is going on? Moving forward. No, 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 don't go scared. Let's play out. Because he got to be under the range, right? Oh, 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 oh,
That's your mind. That's everything. Remember this. DNA. Say it with me. DNA. DNA. It's my mind. It's my mind. Every cell of my body. Every cell of my body. It's DNA. It's DNA. DNA, baby. That's all that matters. You see your food. They got your mind. Because they got your resources. Your mind control. This is mind control. To control your mind, I would have to control your food. And if I have your food, if I have your health, all your medicine, your vaccination, then I got you. Because I can make you, I can modify you into whatever I want you to become. And that means whatever I want you to become. We people is playing what? God, right? Let's get it. Information is included in the structure of the molecule. Four nucleotides are paired and make up a code that carries instructions. Change the instructions and you change the being carrying it. The revolution. Ah, did y'all see that? Did you see that? Change the instructions and you change the being carrying it. This is not a game. This is science. We want to be entertained. We don't want to learn the real knowledge about what's going on. This is not a game. This is very serious. While we're bullshitting, this is what the so-called oppressor is doing. And this is just the truth of the matter. Moving forward. And when scientists figured out that the CRISPR system is programmable, you can just give it a copy of DNA you want to modify and put the system into a living cell. Now, if you just put the system into what? A living cell. A living cell. The niggas just drop that shit in your food and goddamn put it right into your body. They could just bloop, drop it in there and make you into whatever they want to make you into. They're studying your shit, know how to be, how to make behavior. DNA is called DNA programming, baby. It's called CRISPR with your crispy chicken. Wow. CRISPR with your crispy chicken. This is really going on. They can control your behavior. They control the narrative of everything you do. And you think you're making up your own mind. Talking about people brainwashing people. Can't nobody brainwash you. Your brain ain't nothing but a computer. Your DNA is the software. Can't nobody brainwash you. Unless they got control over your food and they doing this type shit. This is how you really mind control a nigga. Have a nigga walk around like, Ehh. Put diseases in your shit. Making you have to go to the doctor so they can make money off you from the medical field because you know the medical industry is connected to the food industry. You understand what I'm saying? They can literally put cancer in your body through your food. I brought me a full stolen noon meal. I'm like, hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. All right. Moving forward. Techniques of genetic manipulation were like a map. CRISPR is like a GPS system. Aside from being precise, cheap, and easy, CRISPR offers the ability to edit live cells, to switch genes on and off, and target and study particular DNA sequences. It also works for every type of cell, microorganisms, plants, animals, or humans. Stop. Did you hear that? It works for all living cells, plants, marine life, and motherfucking humans. Well, if we're going to test it on humans, who are we going to test it on? Black, black people. Popeyes. We got this new behavior we want to check out. Oh, the sun is heating up. We don't want these niggas going crazy. Popeyes, EBT, got them. Got them. Got him good. Let's get it. Regardless of your personal take on genetic engineering, it will affect you. Modified humans can alter the genome of our entire species because their engineered traits will be passed on to their children and can spread over generations, slowly modifying the whole gene pool of humanity. It will start slowly. The first designer babies will not be overly designed. It looks like you that they... You are what? 23 chromosomes of what? Father, yeah, mother, your father. Father. You are, you are 
Genetically, this is what we are. We're genes, baby. We're genes. That's all you are is your, your, 20, your 46 chromosomes. That's it. And they fucking with them. You are your mother and father. That is your past life, too. Your past life is your mother and father's life. You are nothing more than 23 chromosomes of your mother and 23 chromosomes of your mama. A code. Who you think you are is nothing but a code. And they got the matrix on the lock. If you don't educate yourself, you won't be able to dodge this shit. DNA is your what? Mind. So if I got control over your DNA, I have access to your DNA and your genes and your RNA. What am I? I'm, that's called what? Mind, mind, mind control. control. Mind control. Brainwash. I want to brainwash you. I turn off your genes, nigga. I, I give you a micro RNA that tells your genes to turn off and go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hello? You guys want to say to you? Yeah, yeah. Move forward. We created to eliminate a deadly genetic disease running in a family. As powerful as CRISPR is, and it is, it's not infallible yet. Wrong edits still happen, as well as unknown errors that can occur anywhere in the DNA and might go unnoticed. The gene edit might achieve the desired result, disabling a disease, but also might accidentally trigger unwanted changes. We just don't know enough yet about the complex interplay of our genes to avoid unpredictable. But well, we sure testing it, ain't we? Mm -hmm. We don't know enough, but we sure gonna test it out this summer. Mm -hmm. If you wanna be around and see what the fuck gonna happen, uh, what you think they got this uh, martial law shit for? They got guns, they got coffers, they got everything ready in place. They testing you, man. You are in a motherfucking laboratory. You are in a laboratory. <laughs> testing you, man. Your environment is a lab. It's a human lab. I gotta tell you, if I don't tell you, nobody gonna tell you. Consequences. Working on accuracy and monitoring methods is a major concern as the first human trial. Move to the last video. Remember the videos I sent you? Yeah. Move to those. We're gonna end this video just like this. Mm-hmm. Very nice. It is really more. Yeah. Uh, part. Is that part one? Is that part one? Yeah. Okay. Check it out, y'all. This is on my page if you need it. Let's get it. Imagine a room we can do computation inside living cells. The problem we're trying to solve is really trying to have a more sophisticated diagnosis that can happen automatically inside cells. Imagine a biological computer that operates inside a living cell. So for example, it could be used to determine whether a cell is cancerous, and if so, then trigger the death of the cell. So here we're talking about little molecular systems that you can you know, work with and run in a test tube, maybe even in a live cell, so they're really small. The type of work that they're doing is essentially they're trying to sense, analyze, and control molecular information. In this project, we're trying to use DNA as a programmable material. DNA is highly programmable, just like a computer. And we can program a whole range of complex behaviors using DNA molecules. So we're taking advantage of a DNA strap display. Did you just hear that? Swing it back. Did you just hear that? Rewind that. Bring that back. Like on the track. Bring it back from the top, man. I want y'all to really listen because now I can ease y'all into that conversation. Before you didn't know what the hell you were talking about. Now you can pick up a here and there on RNA, DNA. I know what that is. I know what genetics is. I know what RNA. I know what that is. On the rivers, I know what that is. Chief put me on that thing. And I'm giving you their language. Now you speak their language when they talk and you just keep up. You're like, oh shit, that's what they doing? Okay, cool. Let's get it. Imagine a world where we can do computation inside living cells. The problem we're trying to solve is really trying to have a more sophisticated diagnosis that can happen automatically inside cells. You see why we bullshit? This what they doing. This what they doing while we bullshit. What is our conversations in our community? Exposing each other. 
We exposed. Look what he did. All of each other person in light talking about what's going on in the dark. We ain't gonna talk about who turned the light out. And we ain't gonna talk about what they doing now. Because we are in the bucket. And we are crabs in the bucket. But are we gonna talk about what the, how the hell we got here? And are we gonna talk about what they doing? And what's their next plans for us? Or are we gonna stay in the bucket keep pulling each other down? Why they carrying us somewhere else? This is what's going on. This is who you working for. Every day you working for this agenda and you're funding it. Funding it with your energy. You think that you're just taking care of my family. I got my wife, got my kids. I, I go to work every day. I'm working hard, baby. You know what I mean? I told a man, take care of mine. Nah, nigga, all your energy is in vain because it's going to these motherfuckers. All this shit, the agenda, you ain't nothing but a distraction. You a distracted individual being used as a battery to power this. And all you thinking you doing is surviving and feeding your family. You think you a man. No, nigga, you a battery. For this. A lab rat. Come on now. In a biological computer that operates inside a living cell. So, for example, it could be used to determine whether a cell is cancerous, and if so, then trigger the death of the cell. So, here we're talking about little molecular systems that you can, you know, work with that run in the test tube or maybe even in the live cell, so they're really small. The type of work that they're doing is essentially they're trying to sense, analyze, and control molecular information. In this project, we're trying to use DNA as a programmable material. DNA is highly programmable, just like a computer. Stop. Wow. DNA is highly programmable, just like a computer, because we are what? We are biological computers, man. Mm. And we're all just robots, really. We're biological robots. And what is the what is the software to this robot? DNA. Mm. And if DNA is programmable, that means I can turn you into whoever I want to fucking do that, but I have to get my, my information inside your body to do it yep. so it can replicate itself and I can make you be who I want you to be <laughs> and this is what we about to say watch this listen to this we can program a whole range of complex behaviors stop using it we can program a whole what Range, range of complex behaviors. behaviors. We can program a whole range of complex what? Behaviors. Motherfucker, you better wake up. Mm -hmm. You think you make it up your own mind? To my brainwashing, nigga, they programming your motherfucking behavior, nigga. Mm -hmm. Your genes get information and create behavior. Your chemistry, they fucking with, they fucking with your chemistry, letting off certain hormones when they ain't supposed to be letting off. Right. They got your medication, nigga, they done studied everything. Big words they use. It's all there. Start Googling the shit that's on your packaged food. And start looking at breaking those words down. And you realize, like, oh shit. These niggas is modifying my motherfucking mind. My DNA. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm screaming again. I'm passionate about you. I love you. I want you to wake up. There's no way I can talk about this shit soft. There's so many motherfuckers. I'm all like an alarm clock. That's all I want you to hear from this. The rest of this video is all my IG page. The only I'm in is just recently there. I'm gonna watch this. I made it all up for you. This is what I'm doing with my time and energy. I'm not trolling nobody, nigga, but this government. I'm trolling the shit out of this government. I'm exposing the shit out of what they doing to us. Literally. I'm a troll too, nigga. I'm just a troll for the right thing. I done broke this shit down, made it all pretty. I got a whole team of people, a whole technical team, just to expose this to you to free your mind. With that being said, it's time for my soul, man. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Reflection, people. I love myself. Hold on, guys. I gotta tell you this weird shit that I just ran across. Real quick, guys. Real quick. 
So who remembers the fights in one another? If we embrace what makes all us different, 